Hi everybody, I'm Philip Duncan. Thank you for joining us for our special double video today. We're tracking both Hurricane Irma in Florida and the Spring Blast around New Zealand right now. And that's where we'll start with our animated wind map today. We've added on the Misery Index, which is the areas you see in blue where it is colder than average right now. Thanks to this deep low down here in the Southern Ocean, pulling up this cold southerly airflow across New Zealand. And it's delivering hail showers and thunderstorms and snow around the Southern Alps. Very very deep air pressure down here into the 960 hectopascal range but the system is still weakening as it tracks slowly out to the east but that's the reason why it's uh, cold and a bit windy around New Zealand typical sort of spring setup so this is Tuesday still a bit cold around the country uh, perhaps not quite so cold though in the north where your airflow is shifting a little bit more westerly coming from the Tasman Sea area and in fact most areas are getting that change as we go through this week so by Wednesday while the rain does return to the west coast most places have westerlies blowing much warmer than the south to southwest winds that we've got right now so Wednesday we'll see another burst of rain or showers coming in for some areas mainly in the west of the country eastern areas are seeing that wind flow pick up from the northwest which on Thursday uh, is even bigger coming out of the subtropics for some areas in the North Island a classic sort of nor'wester for the South Island but another low sort of forming out here in the Tasman with more rain coming in for the west coast. But the theme is it will get warmer uh, as we go through this week. And then as we end the week on Friday, typical spring. We really are in this earlier spring pattern this year. The winds have arrived earlier, the westerlies. So this is a big classic sort of cold front where you might see a few isolated thunderstorms, heavy rain in the South Island, strong winds, maybe some gales as well. Uh, but the temperatures, well, they shouldn't be too bad, but they might get a little bit cold for a time. The reason why we've been showing you that misery index today is mainly because a lot of farmers out there having a bit of a tough time uh, with the lambing at the moment and calving getting out there all weekend long. While many of us might be indoors, they were out uh, helping to deliver some stock. Now let's go over to the Northern Hemisphere. Uh, not a very good setup for Florida at the moment. This is the latest satellite imagery taken around Monday morning uh, New Zealand time. So the storm came in and made a landfall in the Keys last night. It's made landfall again in Marco Island and it's tracking up the western side of Florida. Now here is the situation. This is where it's likely to track over the next couple of days. Apologies in American terms because uh, we're using CNN but basically this is uh, 195 kilometers an hour with sustained winds right now. The central air pressure down into the 930 hectopascal range and the problem with this storm is it's tracking along the coastline which means the sea will continue to help fuel it so it's not going to weaken as fast as perhaps some other storms do and this is the storm surge the areas you see here in red that is three meters above the normal high tide then on top of that you have the big crashing waves. You've got the winds nearly at 200 kilometers an hour on top of that, pushing it all inland. And on top of that, this is a very low area. So flooding is already uh, pretty catastrophic in some places, a lot of places going underwater all around the Florida coastline. So. Look at this video here coming in from CNN. So as a CNN affiliate, we'll continue to bring you the very latest on this storm. You can track it live on our website or go to our app. You'll find the links directly to CNN. You can see all those maps that we just showed you and more of them as well, but stunning footage coming out of Florida at the moment. We'll update you again on Tuesday.